Hello there guys and welcome to another one of my reviews. Today we're going to be talking about a special model in BMW's lineup. It is yet again an M performance car. The car I'm referring to, you probably figured out already, it's the M550D which has been launched in the previous generation, the F10 5 Series generation for the first time and now is getting a revamp with the G30 new 5 Series generation. Now, apart from the badge and the body styling changing, there are a couple of more interesting things to talk about when discussing the new G30 5 Series. Most notably the engine, because unlike on the M550D of the F10 generation, on the new car we get a completely new engine. This engine goes by the code name B57S. S stands for sporty or for super performance. Why am I saying that? Because this car uses a 3 liter diesel engine. Uh, it's a 6 cylinder straight 6 of course because this is BMW's uh, modus operandi and uh, it makes 400 horsepower. Now if you're familiar with the old 5 series you'd know that it used to make uh, 381 horsepower. So the, the, the difference in power isn't all that great, you know, you get 19 extra horses. But you also get 20 extra newton meters of torque, which raises the total to 760 newton meters of torque. Uh, that's impressive, isn't it? Yeah. But the most interesting thing about the engine is that the new power plant uses a quad turbo setup. Whereas the old engine was interesting enough already using three turbos set up in a, a sequence of one large turbo and two smaller ones. This time around we have, we're dealing with four turbos. So uh, the BMW engineer decided that, you know what, the old N57S engine wasn't complicated enough, we're going to make it even more complicated. So we're going to add another turbo. So we're dealing with four turbos right here. What I want to mention right now is that this car, as the title suggests, is quad turbo for the people. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that this is an affordable car. It starts at 78,000 euros and goes up to 112,000 euros in this spec, in this exact spec. So this car costs 112,000 euros because there are 24,000 euros worth of optional features on it. So it's not exactly accessible to anyone. However, the only other car in the world in production today using four turbochargers on an engine is, drum road race, the Bugatti Chiron, which is a hypercar which has 1500 horsepower and a price tag of over 2 million euros. So that's definitely not affordable. And by comparison, this car is a lot more affordable than that one. So as I was saying, it has 400 horsepower and it is an M performance model. Now this, the M550D badge might seem peculiar to a couple of people and they might be right. The thing is M performance cars have been around since the 1980s. One of the first cars to wear an M performance badge on it was the M635i the E24 6 Series that used to race in a variety of championships and actually be quite successful at it. Over time, that M performance side of things went away and came back in the late 2000. Uh, in the late 2000, and everything started with the M550D, which was and is a diesel car. So quite a stride away from the traditional petrol-powered engines we got used to. However. I can wholeheartedly say that diesel has come a long way from what it used to be in the 80s and this car is absolutely marvelous. Uh, on the road it will accelerate into oblivion and you won't even notice it. As a matter of fact I found myself breaking the law the other day and I didn't even notice. That's because the 100 km an hour benchmark is reached in 4.4 seconds as you're about to see. Now, 
Now that is quite fast and the shifts are quite brutal because BMW wanted them to feel this way in sport mode. Uh, however, this car is only 0.4 seconds slower than another M performance car, which is the M550i, which uses a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 with 462 horsepower. So it has more power, less torque, but it is quite faster off the line. At four seconds, you could even call it a sports car, even though BMW doesn't exactly market it that way. However, the M550i is faster than the older M5, and that says quite a lot, and it's mostly due to the uh, all-wheel drive system. The car we're driving today, the M550d, though, is really, really close in terms of performance, and it has considerably more torque. What makes it even more interesting is the way it reacts to your pedal. So BMW set up the engine, the four turbos, to work in sequences. Basically, you have two small turbos and two bigger turbos, working together. The smaller turbos get the power going from low revs, so you don't feel any sort of lag when pushing the car hard. Of course, this is a diesel, so there will be some lag noticeable, but it is not, uh, not at all as disturbing as you might think. As a matter of fact, you can only feel turbo lag if you're pushing the car fast off the line, uh, at under uh, 1600 rpm because at 1600 rpm the, the turbos are already spooled up you get full torque full horsepower and you're basically taking off on the highway the car will get into triple digit figures and i'm talking about miles per hour here in no time you'll do 200 kilometers an hour and you won't even notice it which is downright scary uh, since this is an m550d model it only comes with x drive but uh, this is the pure X-Drive, the one that sends more power to the rear wheels and it is extremely enjoyable to drive. The car doesn't even feel that heavy either because it lost some weight compared to the older model. So everything works for it. Even furthermore, you can get active steering, which means the rear wheels will steer with you depending on the situation. If you want to park the car, they will move uh, in the opposite direction as the front wheels and if you want to drift this car, you can definitely do it with 400 horsepower, that's not an issue. And the wheels, the rear wheels will move in uh, the same direction as the front ones, improving the car, this car's maneuverability. Uh, speaking of which, in sport mode, the steering doesn't offer uh, more feedback than in, uh, in comfort mode, for example, but it, did, it definitely gets heavier, which is something I've grown used to on BMWs. And it does help up to a certain point, but you don't really get a lot of steering feel through the steering wheel. Nevertheless, the car is extremely enjoyable to push to, to the absolute limit. And now I'm arriving to the best part about this car. The best part about this car is that it is a diesel. So compared to the M550i, uh, you can actually get a thousand kilometers of range out of the fuel tank. I was absolutely blown away of how little fuel this car sips outside the city limits. So uh, last night I went out and I drove it outside the city limits on a highway and the average fuel consumption recorded was 5.6 liters per 100 kilometers. Now the average speed was about 90 kilometers an hour or close to 60 miles an hour and that completely blew my mind. Uh, speaking of fuel consumption, inside town uh, you'll get about 10 liters per 100 kilometers covered, which is absolutely okay, but I'm certain you can get less if you can manage to keep your foot off the throttle. It was a bit harder for me because I just wanted to drive this car fast. And that's the fuel consumption I recorded, 10 liters per 100 kilometers. It's not a lot, it's absolutely decent for a car that has 400 horsepower under the hood. So that's the big advantage compared to the M550i. The M550i, on, on the other hand, is this car's biggest rival because they're close in terms of pricing. And that one has the V8 under the hood, which sounds better than this 3-liter diesel. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, the 3-liter diesel is, is nothing wrong with its sound. It's just that you get a lot of fake sound inside the cabin because there's nothing exciting about the diesel engine when it comes to sound. On the outside, you won't even notice that this is a 400 horsepower car so you might want to adjust your expectations so no noise from the outside but this car doesn't have to make a lot of noise because it will be terribly fast and there will be few cars around town 
that you can actually be afraid of when challenge, challenging you to an impromptu drag race at a stoplight. How do you differentiate an M Performance model from the rest of the range? Well, first of all, all M Performance cars come with uh, M Sport or with the M Sport package on the outside, except of course the 7 Series, the M7060i, which you can get with the uh, excellence package, uh, design package on the outside. So what that means, you get the M Sport treatment all around, you get M stickers on the front fenders, and for M Performance models alone, you get very gray accents on the front, uh, on the kidney grill, on the air intakes on the sides of the bumper, and the rear view mirror, mirrors. Another interesting tidbit you need to know about is that the exhaust, the tailpipes, are uh, trapezoidal which is something you only find on an M performance model and you get a lot of M550D stickers all around the car from the door sills to the dash where you have a big M550D logo on that being said this has been my review of the BMW M550D xDrive I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions don't be afraid to drop them in the comment section below don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.